Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I will bring my cup of coffee. I guess I have one minute. Right? <laughs> of course, definitely. Take your time. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. As usual, we're going to talk about the platform first. This was the homework for yesterday. So actually today we're going to talk about that. This is the class of tonight. And this is the homework for tonight. So uh, just a matter for you to click what will be the best option according to the question. Only five questions and then uh, we can move on, okay? So let's check about the attendance, of course. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Perfect. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, we're going to start the class.
of tonight. And uh, let me just show my screen. Okay, remember for this Friday is the first uh, the first time that we're going to present new words, vocabulary, two, three maximum words. So you can explain what are those words, I mean, the meaning of the words, and then uh, examples using the words. And also we're going to have like a presentation of a product or a business. Uh, so let's, we are going to pretend that we are uh, entrepreneurs, so that you are going to run a business. Okay, so let's check about a little bit of grammar. So other, others, the other, or another. That's what we're going to check tonight. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Dora Elizabeth, could you please help me reading this slide? Other, other, others, the others, or another, other. Other means additional or extra or alternative or different type of other as a determiner. We can use other with singular and countable nouns and with plural nouns. The embassy, the embassy with, the embassy website has general information about visas. Other travel information can be obtained by calling the free phone number. Additional or extra information. Some music comes people. Other music has the opposite effect, different type of music. What other books by Charlie Dickens have you read? Apart from Oliver Twist, additional or extra books. This one's too big. Do you have this other size? Alternative size. Okay, so this is the very first part. So sometimes we have other, others, the other, or another. So other, just other, means additional, extra, alternative, or different types of. So we're going to use other when we want to offer additional information or extra information. Uh, alternative, I mean, one or the other, or different types of. So you have different types of something and you are going to use others then. So we have other as a determinant. We can use other with singular and countable nouns and with plural nouns. So not a problem. For example, the embassy website has general information about visas. Other travel information can be obtained by calling with a free phone number. In this case, we are offering additional or extra information, okay? Other travel information, that is additional. The other example says, some music calms people. Other music has the opposite effect. So different types of music. So we have kind of uh, two different types of music in this example. What other books by Charles Dickens have you read? Apart from Oliver Twist, additional or extra books, other books, right? Additional. This one's too big. Do you have it in other sizes? Alternative sizes. I'm asking, I'm requesting if you have any other choice, any other alternative about this one. Okay. So this is uh, when we use other as a determinant. So the question, my friend, is. Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. Let's check to the other one. Okay. Um, this one's going to be for William Alexander. Okay, if we use other before a singular countable noun, we must use another determiner before it. I don't like the red one. I prefer the other color. Uh, not, I prefer other color. Jeremy is at, a, is at the university or our other son is still at the school. He got 100% uh, in the final examination. No other students has 
ever achieve that. There is one other thing we need to discuss before we finish. Okay, so this okay, is so this... the second rule. Okay, so if we use other before a singular countable noun, well, we need to be careful about that. If we use other before a singular countable noun, we must use another determiner before it. For example, I don't like the red one. I prefer the other color, okay? In this case, the is the thing that we need to use in this one, the other color. So we cannot say I prefer other color. We need to use the here in this example, okay? Jeremy is at university. Our other son is still at school. So here we need to use our, so this makes sense grammarly. He got 100% in the final examination. No other, no is the one that is helping here. No other student has ever achieved that, okay? And the last one says, there's one other thing we need to discuss before we finish. So we cannot say there's other thing. There's one other thing we need to discuss before we finish because before that one is a singular countable. There is, right? So that will be countable. Okay, so we need to be careful on this one. Remember that for the TOEFL, we're going to we're going to write uh, an essay, right? So if we make some mistakes like this one that are very small, of course, it's going to cost us uh, a few points. So we need to be careful on that one. Do you have any questions on this? Okay, so let's move on. Uh, this is a short one, okay? Uh, this is going to be for Francisco Eduardo. Hello, Francisco Eduardo. Uh, I guess he's on a bus or something like that. He mentioned yesterday sometimes he's in traffic. Okay, uh, David Samuel. Other as a determiner does not have a plural form. Mandy and Charlotte stayed behind. The other girls went home, not the others yet. Okay, I guess this is very clear, right? So if we use that as a determiner, uh, we don't use a plural form of that one. So Mandy and Charlotte stayed behind. The other girls, not other girls, the other girls went home is determining uh, specifically who are who went home in this case okay so we cannot say uh, the others girls it's going to be the other girls that is very very important do you have any questions on this okay since this is grammar i'm going to send you this uh, tomorrow just in case you want to check into that one to the group Okay, so uh, Ana Claudia, could you please help me with this? Okay, other as a pronoun. We can use other as a pronoun. As a pronoun, other has a plural form, others. We have to solve this problem more than any other today. I'll attach two photos to this email and I send others tomorrow. Okay, so the trick here is exactly what it says there. If we use that as a pronoun, so instead of the noun, then yes, we can use a plural form. So the first one is a singular one. We have to solve this problem more than any other today. Uh, and the other one is the plural. I'll attach two photos to this email and I'll send others. So others instead of other pictures, other photos, okay? If we use photos, then we're going to say other, other photos. But if I we... thought that we, we commonly use, I will send the others tomorrow. <laughs> uh, in that case, it can be the other, the other tomorrow. Uh, in that, well, yeah, this is a plural. So yeah, you can say the others sometimes. Uh, but in this case, it's specifically it's going to be others, others pictures, o mm -hmm. well, other pictures, other photos. Okay. And instead, instead of, of a noun, right? uh, instead of, of the noun, we can use others like in the plural one. 
I guess this is kind of kind of clear, right? Do you have any question here? Okay, let's move on. Okay, so this is going to be for Jose Marcus. Okay, the other, the other as a determiner, the other with singular noun means the second of two things or people, or the opposite of a set of two. This computer here is new. The other computer is about five years old. And uh, you know the Indian restaurant in Orman Street? Yes. Well, this shop is on the other side of the street. They're directly opposite. They are from side to side. Opposite. The other with plural now means the remaining people or things in a group or set. Joel and Karen are here, but where are the other kids? There are many people in a group. Where are the other two dinner plates? I can only find four. There are many things in a set. Here she stays. Okay, so yeah, sometimes we can use the other. So the other as a determiner um, is like, uh, it means the second thing uh, of other things or a group, okay? Other part of the group. So that is the meaning of the other, okay? Or it may be also the opposite of a set of two, okay? So we have a set of two things or people and it's the opposite, okay? So for example, this computer here is new. The other computer is about five years old. So in this case, actually we can say the other is about five years old. In this case, yes, we're going to use the other because we're talking about the second of two, the second thing out of two. Do you know the Indian restaurant in Palmer Street? Yes. Well, the gift shop is on the other side of the street, directly opposite. Well, actually there is it, right? Opposite, it says, okay? Uh, the other with a plural noun means the remaining people or things in a group or set. So, Joel and Karen are here, but where are the other kids? So in this case, it's like the rest of the people, right? The remaining people in a group. Where are the other two din uh, dinner plates? I can only find four. The remaining things in a set. And he, in this case, are six plates. So, uh, there are only four available, and we are looking for the other two uh, plates. So that will be it. Okay. As you can see, it's very similar. It's very similar, but sometimes there are some differences. So there, uh, we need to be careful on that one. Any questions on this one? In the first example, with this computer here, is new. We mm -hmm. can say. The other one? Yeah. The other one is about five years old. Yeah, you can say the other one is about five years old. Yeah, in that case, uh, we substitute one with computers, so not a difference. So it's going to be exactly the same, yeah. Okay, thank you. Very good, perfect. Okay, let's move on. So the other as a pronoun. Uh, this is a short one. Let's see, Roxana Iveth. Okay, the other has a pronoun. We can use the other has a pronoun, especially, especially to refer back to something which has been mentioned already in the sentence. He had, he had, is had in one hand, hand and uh, I'm sorry. He had his hat in one hand and a bunch of flower in the other. And she has two kid kittens. One is black and the other is all white. Very good, perfect, thank you. So you can see here that we can use the other as a pronoun. Remember the pronoun is instead of the name, right? Instead of a noun. We can use the other as a pronoun, especially to refer back to something which has been mentioned already in the sentence. That is exactly as we do it in Spanish, right? So 
We had his hat in one hand and a bunch of flowers in the other. I mean, in the other hand, right? So that is it. He has two kittens. One is black and the other is all white. So we mentioned that we are talking about uh, the kittens. So we don't have to mention again. So we can use only the other. So that will be it. Uh, do you have any questions here? When, when we say that determiner is uh, something about like article. Something like that. It's determining something, right? In this case, uh, it's like saying that, that one. Okay, this okay. one, something like that. Good. What is a bunch, my friends? Do you remember? It's a group of, a group a of group followers. Of. Very good. Nice. That is it. Okay, today is uh, the day of the yellow flowers, as I read somewhere. Good. So, uh, well, here we finish other and the other and others. Okay. So you see what is going to be like that one. Now we're going to go to another, which is kind, uh, kind of different, actually. So let's see. Jarvin, Zach, could you please help me reading this one? Not possible. Uh, Juan Miguel Brand. Not possible. Let's see who has not read yet. Yeah, I see that some people are still driving, so I don't want uh, to get into that one. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, are you okay with your throat? I don't want you to be. Okay. I'm aware. When we use that in this in definite, in definite, it's called? Indefinite. Okay, when we use the indefinite article and before other, we write it has one word, another. Another means one more, or an additional or extra, or an alternative or different. Another has a determinate, determinate. Determinate. Mm -hmm. We use another with similar nouns. Would you like another cup of coffee? You've met Linda, but I another I have, but I have another sister who you haven't met, called Margaret. I don't like this place. Is there another coffee around here? We could we, yeah, I'm sorry, we call to go alternative or different. Perfect, thank you, uh, Roxana. So yeah, we have another. So another is an, in, uh, we use the, this is indefinite article, okay? Uh, remember that this is like um, like any, something like that one. So it's not that uh, definite, so it's not specific. So it can be any. So when we use the indefinite article and before the other, we write it as one word. So instead, what it says, this part is that instead of say any other, we don't say any other, we say another. So it's like um, use one word for the two things, okay? Another means one more, an extra one, okay? Uh, an alternative or different one. So any other, that is a different thing. And we can use another also as a determiner. We use another with singular nouns. Would you like another cup of coffee? Okay. So you had already one. So this is an additional one. Uh, you've met Linda, but I have another sister who you haven't met called Margaret. So an extra one again. I don't like this place. Is there another cafe around here we could go to? So we are in one place and I don't like it. I want to go to any other, any other cafe, not this one, but any other. And that is another. So this is like an alternative or something that is kind of different. Do you have any questions here? We can't use other. We use other. Oh, sorry. Would you like other cup of coffee? Single. Well, in this case, no. Sometimes it's possible to use other or another. 
But in that one, uh, since you are going to offer a second one, uh, it's going to be another, another cup of coffee. On the last one, for example, we can say, I don't like this place. Is there any other cafe? So you can say something like that, but the most common is to say another. Another is like any other. Okay. It's maybe if I I talking about a different type of coffee, uh, it's the same. Ah, okay. You have a, uh, that is one and I example. give you another. Yeah, actually, if you say, would you like other cup of coffee? It's exactly what you're saying. If you change that one, if you uh, say other is like a different type. Yes, a different type. Exactly. So in this yes. case, since it's kind of the same and you want a sec you are offering a second one of the same. So it's like a, only an additional one. But if you use other, and that's why uh, this is a very important thing. I mean, if you say to somebody, would you like another cup of coffee? You are offering a second of the same. same. But if you say, would you like other cup of coffee? It's like something different. So I have other types of coffee. Would you like to yes. try that? So that will be okay. it. Thank you. Very good, perfect. Nice. Okay. Um, Jose Marcos, could you please help me this one? Okay. Another as a pronoun, we can use another as a pronoun. The applications are examined by one committee. Committee. The committee then pass on to another. Okay, again, this is an extra committee, right? It's a second one. So the applications are examined by one committee, then pass on to another. So there we are using that as a pronoun because we don't say we then we pass on to other committee. So we just say another. And we know that it's a second one. Okay. Very, very important that you be careful on the prepositions. For example, here, then pass on. This is a phrasal verb. Okay. So that uh, those two words are going to be together and it's going to be uh, like the verb. The verb is just like that. So that is something that is very, very important here. Okay, do you have any questions here? We use on the preposition on because it is uh, linked with the verb, then pass it on. That is like a frozen verb. Yeah, in this case, passed on, they are together. So it's a phrasal verb, yeah. Uh, the thing is that if you read it like passed on to, it sounds like not not that good, right? But if you say passed on to another, then you understand that this is together. Okay, so the next one is going to be for Anna Claudia, please. Okay. Other, others, the other or another, typical errors. When other is a determiner, it does not have a plural form. These boxes are for books. The other boxes are for clothes, not the others boxes. Mm, okay. Do I continue? Uh, no, that is fine. Thank you. So, yeah, this is the first one. We checked that already. Just be careful. I mean, when this is a determiner, so it's telling that one, those other ones, we are not going to use a plural on that one. And this is a very good example. I mean, these boxes are for books. The other boxes, I mean, if we say the others boxes, I mean, you you feel that it's not natural, right? It's not good. So it's going to be the other boxes are for clouds. What is going to match here are uh, the plural. I mean, boxes and are, of course, they're together. Uh, but other is going to stay like in a singular. So that would be it. Okay, the other one, the last part is going to be for uh, William Alexander. When other as a pronoun refers to more than one person or thing, it takes the plural form others. Some sci scientists think we should reduce the number of 
flights to prevent global warming. Others disagree, not others disagree. Okay, I really like this one because you can compare. I mean, in the first one it says the other boxes. I mean, you use the noun boxes is there. Okay, in the second one, it says others because it's a pronoun. It's a state of the name. That's why it's, it's possible to use like the plural. Here you can see the difference, right? Other boxes, they are I mean, the determining other with the noun boxes. And on the second one, other is the, the noun. It's a pronoun. It's instead of the noun. So you can see here exactly the difference. You uh, need to check into that one so everything is working or uh, understandable for the other people. So this is very important. So you can see here that, I mean, uh, when you're talking, uh, when the pronoun refers to a plural, I mean, it's going to be a plural because it's, it's representing that noun. Do you have any questions here? No questions. Good. Okay. Um, let's check into this one. Let's see. Uh, Iliana Giselle, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm, okay. Other must have a determ determiner? Determiner? Determiner. Determiner, other must have a determiner before it when it comes in front of a singular countable noun. If the noun is indefinite, for example, book, a woman, an idea, we use another. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't worry, I will not continue. Thank you. So mm -hmm. other must have a determiner before it when it comes in front of a singular countable noun. That is one of the keys. So if it's in front of a singular countable noun, singular, this is very important, uh, the noun is uh, is going to be other, okay? That is going to be the one that we're going to use. But if the noun is indefinite, for example, a book, remember that indefinite, it can be any, any book, a woman, any woman, an idea, any idea. So we use another one. So, for example, I passed the first package. What shall I do with that other package? Not what should I do with other package? So with that other package or with the other package. It can be also the other package. Okay. So it's not without the uh, that little part before. The second example says, after a month in Bolivia, I was ready to move to another country. In this case, it's because any other country. It's not specific, it's in general. I was ready to move to another country. Any country that is in the region or near or something like that. Okay? So we don't say to move to other country. Okay? And uh, the other one says we write another as one word. As I was telling you, another is like any other, right? So there is another car parked a little further down the same street, a second car, okay? So we cannot say there is an other or any other car parked or whatever. Another is singular. We don't use it with plural noun. So other interesting places to visit include the old harbor and the castle, okay? Another interesting places is not going to be called. So, if there are places in this case, for example, the noun is a plural one and we're going to use other, not another. This is actually very common. We need to be careful on this last one because, yeah, sometimes we use it like other, but it's not exactly like other. Sometimes it's interchangeable, but sometimes it's not. So in this one, you must remember that if we're talking about plural, we're going to use other, okay? And if we are using that as as the um, as a as a pronoun, then it's going to it can be others, of course. Do you have any questions in this part? I will be sending you this uh, to the group tomorrow. So if it's possible tonight, but I guess it's more likely tomorrow. Okay, we use another only for singular because because and 
and it's for singular. Exactly. And because Apple, it's the equivalent to a book or a woman or an idea, like okay. it says at the beginning. So that's why it's not possible to use it like in a plural. Okay, thank you. Very good, perfect. Do you have any other question? Okay, let's practice then, okay? So uh, please write three, no, four sentences with other and four sentences with another. Whatever you want to write. If you want to, me to move the presentation and go back so I can show you some other rules, of course I can do that one. And then you are going to share with us, okay? So we we need to write examples. Yeah, examples. With other, other and another. Other and another. Yeah, three and okay. three is fine. I guess it's three and three is enough because we're going to check in the book and in the book, uh, yeah, we're going to also practice in that one. So three and three.
Okay, have you finished or do you need one or two more minutes? It's just with other and another or others too? You can use others as well, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of more minutes. Okay, so we are going to share. Uh, let's start with uh, David Samuel. Let's listen to his examples. Okay, my example with another. Alex took another cup of coffee at the school cafeteria. Okay. The second one, can I have a, another ice cream? Mm -hmm. The third one I seen there is another way to the park. Okay, good. And the last one, there is another airport in the freeze for the road. Okay. With the other? Yes, please. Did you like this race or the other one? Good. Uh, don't think more about what other people think about you. Okay. One boy is sitting in the waiting room while the other one is giving an interview. Nice. That's all, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much. Anna Claudia. Um, okay. I just have one with a uh, other. Uh, the doctor took the test to my mind today. The other will be in one week from now okay yeah it's possible and okay. uh, the next one is using another there is another stain in my pants stain, stain? mancha no? stain, stain, stain yeah okay uh, and the other is with the using uh, in plural my black shoes are dirty the same than the others i used yesterday Okay, good. And then, and I just wrote the four. The there is one more with uh, another. Okay. Yesterday I found one dollar. Today I found another. You are so lucky. I don't know if to complete it with <laughs> another <laughs> one or just with another. You can use both, another or another one. Yeah. Another one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, lucky me. <laughs> <It's> lucky. <laughs> good, perfect. Thank you, okay. Ileana Gisol. Okay, uh, with other or others, uh, she said she wants to discover other places in Australia. Some friends use more TikTok and others prefers Instagram. Okay. I think that somewhere in the world, there are some other romantics like me. Good. 
And with another, Caroline advised me to read another romantic novel. novel. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom thinks mm -hmm. I have to find another psychologist. Mm -hmm. And after today, I think I need another beer. All um, right, that's good, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. So, uh, Zora Elizabeth. Uh, I need another computer in my office. Okay. This bank is full and the other is empty. Okay. Would you like it's another piece of cake? Okay. My dress is similar as other in store. Mm, my dress is similar dress. to the other or to the yeah to the other in the store maybe something like that one right and that's it okay very good perfect roxana Yvette. <clears throat> okay there are another two movies at the tv in that case is there is it's not possible to use another oh, in okay. there is another movies at the TV. Mm -hmm. She likes to be with other people. Okay. The other evening we had a party. Okay. Okay. Mm. There are going to be have. I'm sorry. There are going to have another baby. Okay, not good for them, but anyways. The doctor. <laughs> Give me another antibiotics. Okay. Here you have another places to visit. Okay. Another other places because it's a plural, right? Okay. Other. Other places, yeah. Good, perfect. Thank you, Roxana Ibeth. Okay. Let's check with uh, William Alexander. Okay, uh, with other, we have other places we need to go. Okay. And do you care what other people think? Mm -hmm. I don't know any other way to do it. Okay. And with uh, another, the demand generated by one factory required the construction of another. And okay. this is not just another interview, and it wasn't just another all season. Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's see Juan Miguel Bran. Okay, let's check. Um, for other, if there's, there are some switches inside the data center and the others are along the facility. Okay. Do you like the white shirt? or the other one. One ticket is related to a new PS and the other is related to the OS. Um, the provider granted us other service as a plus. Okay. Yeah. Um, for another, I've just finished this training, but there is another in which I'm interest about, interested about. Okay. I have another complaint, uh -huh, compliant from users that can get used to the new update. Okay. The last week we made a ma major update. So, and, and this week there is another one. Do you want I schedule another meeting for the next month? Okay, yeah. very good, perfect, thank you. Let's okay. Check. Uh, Luis Albert, Steve. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, another and other. Uh, another. Um, can you manage another piece of cake? Uh, mm -hmm. You will um, remember me. I was in another group. And um, he tried his fortune in another another city. And other, uh, does life exist on other planets? 
-hmm. and we dispute with each other on various uh, various issues. And I'm sorry, but I have to. I have other plans. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's check Francisco Eduardo. I don't know if it's possible. Hello, teacher. Hello. So, teacher, I uh, you know, but uh, for my my uh, true, but uh, I make a three sentence issue. Okay. okay for another, uh, your order was so successful. You want to perform another operation? Um, I wash to work pants. I'll watch the others tomorrow. And okay. for the others, uh, I, I just want well, uh, this room is clean. We haven't started the other one yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Jose Marcos. Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, I have other songs to listen to. Um, I have very smart teammates and the others not that much. Okay. Uh, another thing to do in the street is walking. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see who's missing. Jarvin Sack. Okay, hello, teacher. Hello. Example with another. Would you like another glass of wine? There, there are going to buy another car. Example with other. There are other shops in the center. And another one is some people like the gym. And, and oh, sorry, and other people hate it. Okay. Okay, very good. Perfect. Nice. Fernando Marvin, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. It's possible for him. Okay. Okay. I have an example for another. Okay. Uh, last night, my cat came with another cat. Uh -huh. And uh, this morning, my bus was ringing. I had to take another. <laughs> okay. And with other, I have two computers. One is Leno and the other is HP. And I can't help you because I'm busy with other teams. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay. Jose Wilfredo, is it possible for you? Not sure. I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, examples we have another. Um, could you like to order the same dish that you ordered last time? Or do you want to order another? Mm -hmm. um, I went to this, the, I went to the movie theater with another friend that wasn't one. And examples with other, um, would you like to, um, I like maybe, I like to use, I like to use um, those other uh, words than this one. And the last one is uh, maybe um, don't buy that phone. Uh, maybe you need your money to another staff. Mm, okay, to other staff will be because it's not additional, but that's good. Perfect. Okay. Good. So we are going to check about the book. If you have the book and you have it printed, this is the time. If not, of course, I'm going to show you here, okay? Sir, I have a question. Go ahead. In my case, I say, there, you have another places to visit, but you told me that I need to use other. But when I say 
play school with I give um alternatives. Why I need to use other or change another. Yeah, because uh, another is not possible to use it with plurals, and you say places. But in the first sentence, I say there are others, the moons of the three. And you told me that uh, I can use uh, plural with others, or um, the correct for who? There is, no? Uh, okay, in this case, it's different because when you say others, is because you use that as a pronoun. That means that you are not going to say movies. So, for example, you can say others if I say something like this. Um, I have some students that uh, they ask uh, many questions. Others don't. But if I say other students, because I use students, I use the noun, mm -hmm. I cannot mm -hmm. say others. I have to say other. Okay. So that will okay. be it. So okay. if you use that as only as a determiner, that means that you need to use the uh, the noun. For example, other students is not possible to use other in plural. But if you are going to use that as a pronoun, meaning that you are not going to say in this example, for example, students, yes, you can use plural. I can say others, but no students. So if you say in this case movies or places, you are using the noun. It is not possible to use others. You have to say other, other places, other movies. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. So now we're going to check about the book. So it's unit number one, the one that we are, of course, because we are studying. We checked that already. We're talking about entrepreneurship. And uh, we were checking about these first questions, as you might remember, yesterday we were discussing about that one. So uh, some terms, groundbreaking innovation. So do you know what is that? If you don't know, this is the time for you to go and look for that word, okay? But that is not a word, but it's a concept. So what is groundbreaking innovation? I will give you one or two minutes for you to look for that one and tell me what is that. Okay, has anybody found the uh, meaning of that? Something different, teacher, that something that maybe has never uh, been done or been seen before. That is it. So, groundbreaking innovation is something totally new, like something that is the very first time that you see that. So, that will be it. So, when you are an entrepreneur, definitely. You need to look for that one or innovation, at least of something like add something. I guess you are the one who were saying that one, that you need to add, make something different, differentiate from the competitors. Fair advantage. Uh, if you know what is that, you can tell me or I will give you one or two minutes for you to look for that one. Fair advantage. What is that? Okay, has anybody found what is fair advantage? So maybe uh, uh, as an entrepreneur, you can get uh, some advantage, advantage about some uh, characteristic of your product or service 
uh, versus your uh, competitor? Something like that one. So it's like an advantage that is going to give you something specific that is better, but it's within some parameters. It's within something that is specific. I mean, for example, uh, some things that companies do here in El Salvador, actually around the world, is that they agree. They agree that they are going to, yeah, compete, but sometimes, I mean, within some parameters so they don't break either the laws or um, push the other company to bankruptcy or things like that one. So that would be it. The next one is a very good one, a startup company. I guess that you know what is that. What is that, a startup company? A new company by entrepreneur. That is it. A startup company is just a new company. So they call it like that one because uh, you are starting your business, your operations. And sometimes, you know, companies, they provide uh, benefits for startup companies. Since you are starting your company, for example, the bank says, uh, we're going to offer you a very low rate of interest, at least for one or two years, since you are starting the company. Then, well, you have to pay a different rate. So sometimes that happens. So start a company, a brand new company that they're start, starting that. Setbacks. What is setbacks? Anybody knows? Something like obstacles. Something like? Obstacles. Obstacles, yeah. So there are things that you have to face, right, for you to overcome. Sometimes it's more difficult than others. Some of those are more difficult than others. So that is uh, like a setback. Very good. So we learned something like that one. This, I mean, were not available. I tried that one, okay? Uh, these are things that also we checked already. Do you remember? What is uh, risks and rewards? Do you remember that? This is something you uh, you need to solve. You need to uh, maybe uh, there there was something that is not sure. It's not safe. It's not sure. And rewards is the, the benefit you get for the investment or for the entrepreneurship. Very good. So that is it. I mean, risks are anything that is dangerous right so whenever you are going to implement a new business definitely you are under risk so it's not for sure that you are going to to reach what you want to do i mean if you do the right things and the customers come to your uh, business and purchase i mean of course but there are many things that cause risk but if you do things very well of course you will have rewards profit is the one that we're looking to get of course Mastery of opportunity. What is that? Do you know? If you don't know, you can look for that one. Mastery of opportunity. I will give you one or two minutes. Sounds like a person that take advantage of any opportunity. Actually, that is it, something like that one. So this is like the companies that uh, they saw an opportunity in the pandemic. For example, the ones with the masks, right? Or the gloves. I mean, they that was their moment, right? Or the deliveries. Do you remember? Some people said here before, I didn't ask a, a lot of deliveries. But now, I mean, since the pandemic, I use that service a lot. So you see an opportunity and you take out of that opportunity the best so you can run your business. Value proposition, what is that? When you propose something that has a specific value, your idea, your project, or your plan has a specific value, that it can be an, an entrepreneurship. Very good. So a value proposition is like uh, when you provide a proposition that comes with uh, value for society, for the company, the profit, for a need that people are going to uh, solve. So things like that one. So it's going to have different 
values on that preposition. So very good. And the other one is an interesting one. Pitch an idea. What is to pitch an idea? Maybe the way that you can talk to the people in order to explain your idea and get, uh, for example, some capital to, to start your business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. So that is exactly what we're going to do on Friday. You are going to pitch an idea. You are going to come with any idea. Remember that is it has. It doesn't have to be something real. I mean, you can invent something in your mind because it's an idea, right? So you can bring, I mean, this is my flying car. My flying car is amazing because you can uh, skip the traffic. It's very cheap. Uh, the fuel that you are going to use is, I don't know, water. I don't know. You can invent many things and we are going to ask you questions. How is that possible? How, how are the materials that you are going to build this for? Things that one so, but you come and pitch an idea. And actually, this is, I mean, this is very common. Um, for example, just remember whenever you are in a bus ride here in San Salvador and somebody comes, okay, I'm bringing you these candies that are amazing. These are going to be for this and this and this and very cheap. They are pitching an idea, right? They are selling a product, but not just a product. They are telling you why, why you need to buy this product, so. Something like that. Very good. Questions before we move on. Okay, so here we have the little grammar, right? As usual. So how to use other and another. Look at the examples in the box and then complete the practice below. Uh, let's see. We're going to ask... Uh, let's see. Fernando Marvin, could you please help us read in this chart? Sure, teacher. Uh, use other and another as the terminus before nouns or phrases, adjectives plus nouns. Other plus plural nouns. The meaning of other followed by a plural noun is several more in addition to the ones already mentioned. Uh, for example, every entrepreneur must be self-motivated, innovative, and a risk taker. Other decidable, sorry, decidable skills include versa, versatility, organization, and delegations. Other plus singular noun count nouns. What other advice to become a successful entrepreneur can you provide? The, that, this, this, those, no, plus other, plus singular or plural nouns. The other day, I attended a lecture to promote entrepreneurship among high school students. And another plus singular count nouns. The meaning of another is one more in addition to the ones already mentioned. Uh, one, a common entrepreneurship myth is that only innovative ideas succeed. Another myth is that entrepreneurs are born, not made. I consider both are wrong. Two, the lack of management skill has been reported as a common failure factor for entrepreneurs. Another failure factor is lack of financing. Three, an essential factor for success is to offer a competitive product. Another vital element is getting enough financing to develop your product. Very good, perfect. So this is like an additional part for the ones that we already <laughs> checked, right? So we have other and another. We can use other plus plural nouns. So for example, uh, every entrepreneur must be self-motivated, innovative and risk taker, other desirable skills. So other, singular, right? Because that is not possible to use with that one skills that is the plural include versatility organization and delegation other plus singular non count noun. so we can use that with count and non count what other advice to become a successful entrepreneur can you provide so uh, the one that is missing here is others remember that others is when you use that as a pronoun 
I guess we're going to check that in the book later on, but anyways. And we can use other with the, that, these, these, those, no. And the singular or plural nouns. The other day, okay, so that is very common. The other day I attended a lecture to promote entrepreneurship among high school students. On the other hand, another is for when you add something that it already was mentioned. So it's a, another one, right? It's not a different one, but another one. And the examples, a common entrepreneurship myth is that only innovative ideas succeed. <coughs> another myth is that entrepreneurs are born, not made. I consider both are wrong. The lack of management skills has been reported as a common failure factor for entrepreneurs. Another failure factor is lack of financing. An essential factor for success is to offer a competitive product. Another vital element is getting enough financing to develop your product. So you can see here that in another, we never use plurals, right? Only singular. That is a very, very important part. Uh, do you have any question here? No, teacher. Good, no perfect. Let's take some words because sometimes we find some interesting words. Uh, let's see. What is to be self-motivated? The capability of getting inspiration from your inner self. That is it. And that is something that we must have, right? At least here in El Salvador, you need to be self-motivated. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes some people come and motivate you, but it's not that common. The most common is that you say to yourself, I can do this. I'm going to do my best. And some other things, right? What is a risk taker? A person who takes risk. Person for, who, yeah. Yeah, for, for a startup company. Yeah. In this case, to start a company, definitely you need to take some risk. I mean, if you get a loan, you're going to have to pay that loan. Or, I mean, even if you don't ask for a loan, you have to pay the rent of a, a place and then the furniture and many things. And if it doesn't work, you lose all that, right? So definitely, it's not that easy. And then it says decidable skills. What are, what do you understand as decidable skills? The capabilities that... Uh somebody needs to have in order to do something or in order to get some yeah, some job, maybe. Very good, something like that one. So, um, yeah, whenever you are applying for a job or for something to be done, there are some skills that is a must, right? This is something that you must accomplish. And there are some others that are desirable. If you have that, it's better, right? Good. Let's see what else. I, I remember there were some other. Uh, what is a lecture? Lecture. Lecture is uh, some kind of conference or, or class. Somebody speaks, somebody teach, and uh, you learn for a specific topic or a specific subject. Very good. So somebody's like reading and teaching about something. Very good. And then uh, I know that you know this one, but I would like to know what is among? Between. It's similar to between, but it's not the same. What is the difference? Maybe with the between, you need to select one. With the among, you are uh, with other ones. Okay, something like that. Actually, between is between two things. And among is surrounded by, right? Is among. So it's not the same. In Spanish, we only have one word, entre, right? But in, in English, we have two different words and, and we use it in different ways. Uh, there is another one. Let me just check. What is a myth? It's something that people believe but uh, there isn't true, like uh, the Earth was uh, over a high turtle or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> that is true. But even though, I mean, sometimes, I don't know, have you ever, have you ever read that there are nowadays, <laughs> I mean, 
in this day there are people that they still believe that the earth is plain. Yes, a flat. Yeah. A flat yeah. Man, it's amazing. I don't know. No comments. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what else. I believe that is it. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish the exercise. Six. Choose whether other or another should be used to complete the statements below. Correct them and compare your answers with the classmates. And there are six of them. And there you will find at some point the options, other or another. So you can, if you printed that one, you just can underline that one or circle it. If you have that, uh, like that one, you can write it down or uh, just write the word, okay? Uh, anyways, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish the exercise six, and then we're going to compare.
okay have you finished already yes teacher okay let's check who wants to share number one me okay please go ahead yeah, it is essential to find out if your business idea for a product has a competitive advantage a good tip is to study other products already available in the market to test if your business idea stands a chance. Very good. So that is it. So, and this one is going to be other. Other products already available. So this is plural. Definitely. And besides that one is something different, right? It's not an additional one. Very good. Number two, who wants to share number two? Don't blame me, teacher. Okay. Besides the genuine desire to work hard and make a business idea succeed, there is another factor to take into consideration, the applicable skill. Very good, perfect. Another, another factor. Very nice, perfect, you saw. Okay, uh, who wants to share number three? I will. Okay. Just I have problem with the mouse, but well, uh -huh. I will try. No worries. Uh -huh. That's why I'm active and, and disactivate the camera. Okay. Uh, number three is it is crucial for the entrepreneurs to be self-motivated. They also need to consider developing other skills like communicating effectively and coping with stress. Very good. Other skills. Very good. That's the one. Number four. Who wants to share number four? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. For your business idea to thrive, it is necessary right. to try. For your business idea to try, uh, it is necessary to put it in paper first. Another useful recommendation is to get early feedback from your potential customers about product features that are not relevant. Very good, perfect. So that will be it. Number five, who wants to share a number five? Okay. In the early stage of testing your business idea, it is necessary to pay attention to detail. And in a store, for example, wants to pay attention to stealing on the website because the lack of attention to that small detail may lead customer to think that you are other unreliable website. Unreliable, uh -huh. very good. Unreliable okay. website. Very good. Everybody agrees on this one? I think that well, we use another. Another, yeah. yeah. And this one is another. Because you are like saying that you are an additional one that is not good right so mm -hmm. uh, it's not a different one but it's another one that is like the same type of unreliable company good so number six who wants to share number six uh, maybe me okay there is this absurd myth about men making better entrepreneurs than women than women. There is no other explanation for success that than her work. Gender has nothing to do with it. Very good, perfect. So that will be exactly that one. There is no other explanation. And these ideas are very interesting. Let's discuss about that one and check some vocabulary as well. Number one, it's essential to find out. If your business idea for a product has a competitive advantage, do you believe that it's important when you are running a new business? Can you repeat again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says on number one, it is essential to find out if your business idea for a product has a competitive advantage. The question for everybody is, do you believe that is something important that a company that is a new company is a starting up company has to take in consideration? Yes, it is important to take in consideration that uh, you can 
the look for a, a different or for an advantage, uh, something that gives you a new product or new service, something different to get the attention of the customers. Definitely right. So Just remember, is... teacher, uh -huh. when you um, develop, uh, yeah, when you develop a, a new product or when you're going to release a new product, uh, you have to have the genuine by the consumer who buy your, your product. So you need to uh, investigate a lot about uh, some other products that maybe will be similar to, to yours. Definitely. Actually, that is what it says at the end, right? So you need to test and compare with other products that are maybe similar, but not the same, right? You should, you should offer something, something different. I mean, it can be, or it, you can be uh, innovative, right? So you can offer something that is very nice. For example, today, you know, uh, there are many things that sometimes exist there and we don't know. Today I was checking in Instagram. Um, there is like a, how can I say a stripe that you have a ball attached to it and then you attach it to your bell and you can play football but you don't have a, you you don't lose the ball so you hit the ball and the ball comes back to you so that is innovative I mean maybe I won't buy that one because I mean <laughs> I don't use that but I, I, I mean I remember that when you're playing and you have to go and pick the ball and bring it back that is a problem. So there is a need for that one. It's something new, maybe not that necessary, but if the price is, let's say two, three bucks, yeah, maybe we can buy that one. Why not, right? So it was interesting. So nowadays there are lots of things that people are trying to, to get into, right? Good on the set. Well, there is no word here that I, I want to ask you. And the number two says, Besides the journey, decide to work hard and make a business idea success, there is other factor or another factor to take in consideration to pick up a school. Mm, there is nothing here. It is crucial for entrepreneur to be self-motivated. We know that one. And communicating. Copying. What is copying? Dealing with. Dealing with. Right. So, yeah, definitely, I mean, self-motivated is important because of that one. You know, for sure, that if you run a new business, a lot of stress is coming, right? Because of many reasons. You might have the best solution, the best product. Maybe you don't have a loan. You have your own money and things. That one, there is always stress there. So, yeah, you need to to cope with stress in some ways, right? You need to prioritize, for example, organize yourself. So go and fix problems one by one. Uh, number four, for your business idea to thrive. What is to thrive? Anybody knows? It's uh, to get successful, to get wise, uh, and uh, make a good for you. That is it. And actually, this is a very good idea. I mean, uh, if you have a, a very good idea in your mind for the business, yeah, it's, it's very good if you write in paper your idea, right? You go and type a document. This is my idea. My market is going to be this one. Uh, and then start researching about that one. But if in the paper is, it doesn't feel good, it's not going to work. Definitely. Okay? You need to convince yourself first that it's going to actually work. Um, there is no other. Uh, then in the other one says in the other stages of testing your business area, it's necessary to pay attention to detail. Oh, that is very important. An e store. What is an e store? A company that I sells uh, its products in uh, online. The web market. That is it. So it's a store online, right? That is it. It's an e store. Um. I don't believe there is any other. Unreliable, what is that? So it's not important. It's not serious. Yeah. Untrust. Untrust. You don't trust in that one, right? So 
Good. And there is, oh, the last one is a very good one. Uh, so, yeah, I believe that there are still people that they believe that men are, are better than, than women in different things, right? We're different, definitely. There is no uh, no doubt on that one. But that doesn't mean that you are better or, or worse. I mean, a woman can be a very nice entrepreneur. Nowadays, there are many girls, many women that are doing very nice businesses. And, and that is very good. It's very nice. I mean, it's nice that um, there are opportunities nowadays for anybody that really wants to do something, right? So, But I, I believe that there are still people that believe that thinks that being a woman is not good. So it's a big mistake. So no, nothing at all. Gender has nothing to do with it, as it says there. Good. Uh, do you have any questions before we run? Okay. Uh, these things, some of those are available. Some of those are not available. I don't know what happened. Uh, if you go and click on this one, uh, some articles are not available anymore and some videos not either. Uh, we're not going to check into that one yet, but we're going to continue with the presentation then. Let's see here. So let's continue speaking about entrepreneurs. So types of entrepreneurs. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, could you please help me reading the first one? Yeah, sure. Um, so types of entrepreneur not every entrepreneur is the same and not all have the same goals here are a few types of entrepreneurs builders builders seek to create a scalable businesses within a short time frame builders typically pass five million in revenue in the first two to four years and continue to build up until 100 million or beyond. These individuals seek to build out a strong infrastructure by hiring the best talent and seeking the best investors. They have temperamental personalities that are sweet to the fast growth. They desire but can make personal and business relationship difficult. Very good, perfect. So what do you think about this kind of entrepreneur? I mean, um, do you believe exist people like that one that they really just go and build things and grow very fast uh, and they are temperamental and I mean, it's something. Yeah, that... yeah, yeah, that's right, teacher. I, and also I know some uh, people like that, that they only think that business, 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 and they grow so fastly, but maybe they forget their life. And when they see it, maybe no one is behind them. Okay, so very good. Mm -hmm. It's really good because you earn money so fast, but maybe you need to be, uh, you need to have a, a control on that. Very good. Yeah, because, actually, that is yeah, true. You I mean, need to balance. Oh, that is one of my favorite words, you know, balance. Balance is important. Yeah. yeah. Life is about balance. You can have yeah, that's right. many things, but maybe you're not happy, right? There are people that yeah. have a lot yeah, of money. You know, maybe you have a lot of money to spend, uh, whatever what you want, but maybe sometimes you need a, a, a friend to enjoy a lot, but that's really good. It's really good when you have the balance of on that situation, maybe you reach your, your goals. Perfect, so yeah, that is so true. I really, really agree on what you say. And yeah, there are people like that one, maybe here in El Salvador, I mean, they are not going to pass five million revenue very fast, right? <laughs> but I yeah. mean, they have enough money. So I mean, yeah. there are people that, uh, and it's very interesting because even when people, they are not, uh, when they don't have education, if they really want money and they really work, they achieve. But it's, it's what you say. Sometimes they have to work a lot, a lot. And uh, yeah, they're always angry. I mean, uh, that's not good. That's not good. But there are people like that. And uh, when you yeah, have a goal right. and work for it, 
Good children, right? Yeah. Good. No words here, I guess. I guess it's going to be kind of typical. Uh, the next one is going to be for Giselle. Okay, opportunist. Opportunistic entrepreneurs are optimistic individuals with the ability to pick out financial opportunities. Get in at the right time, stay on board during the time of growth, and exit when a business hits its peak. Okay. These types of entrepreneurs are concerned with profits and the wealth they will build. So they are attracted to ideas where they can create residual or renewal income because they are looking to find well-time opportunities. Opportunistic entrepreneurs can be impulsive. Okay, do you believe that this is accurate, that this is true? Mm, I don't know. For example, uh, there are some people that um see maybe the opportunity in bad times for example or some sometimes there are people that invest in something in bad times because they think that that is a good time to invest for example and or to start something and but most of the people i think that they they don't do that because of the risks that 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 decision can can bring to at, at the end of the day but very interesting that at the end of the of the the second paragraph said that the opportunistic entrepreneurs can be impulsive and i think that's all they just take the chance in the time or they just wait the the time they they think that are the best for them so yeah but I, I don't think that these kind of, of entrepreneurs are are um, common nowadays. I think that nowadays people really want to 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 invest their money in what they think that are the best for them. So you don't want to just just to spend it. You want to to you want profit at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, nowadays it's not just a matter for you to invest, right? Um, I believe that just yes, there are people that are like that. So they see a business, they invest in the business, they get the money, and whenever they get the money and they believe, because that is something that they learned, there are some people that are very, very good at understanding the market, right? The whole thing. And they know that maybe a company is going to is going to uh, fail. And before the company fell, they say, okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. See you around. But again, uh, as you say, I mean, it's kind of risky, right? So that is not, uh, I mean, the risk is too much. And yeah, maybe it's linked to the personality. Impulsive is something that I believe they are. So definitely it's not going to be something very nice. No new words here, I guess. The innovator is going to be for... Fernando Marvin. Innovators. Innovators are those rare individuals that come up with a great idea or product that no one has thought of before. Think of Thomas Edison, Steve Jobs, and Mark Zuckerberg. These individuals work on what they love and found business opportunities through that. Rather than focusing on money, innovators care more about the impact that their products and service and services had on society. These individuals are not the best at running a business as they are idea generating individuals. So often they lead the day to day operation to those more capable in that respect. Okay, do you believe this is accurate that is, there are people exactly like this? Yeah, it's possible, teacher. Today it's it's very difficult because in this world it seems everything had been invented, but you know, maybe um around here or around there is the one opportunity that you, you can take it and you can 
build your business. Uh, who knows? Maybe my my pitch and idea <laughs> for for the next Friday is the next is the next uh big company. Very good. Yeah. Actually, I agree. I mean, these are very, very um, common. There are people that they have a lot of ideas. Uh, maybe the problem is that one, that they are not, the most of the inno innovators, uh, entrepreneurs, they are not that into business. They are very good at the idea, the solving of the problem or things like that one. So if they are not that good in business, sometimes they don't uh, get to to run a very good business, like so. Or what they need to do is to bring somebody to the company that is like uh, managing that part. Maybe I'm not that. I I do not agree much that in Thomas Edison because, well, if you know the story, maybe he was not that innovative. He was looking for a lot of projects, and he was like a really good businessman. Maybe not that innovative. So let's see. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. Specialist, a uh, daughter Elizabeth. Specialists. These individuals are analytical and effects averse. They have a strong skills set in a specific area obtained through education or apprenticeship. A specialist entrepreneur will buy our data business through networking and referrals, resulting in a slower ground than a leader interpreter. Okay, very good. What do you think? Do you believe that they are like that? That exists this kind of entrepreneur, Dora? Um, uh, yes, I, there are uh, these persons uh, there are in six uh, or oh, they they think more about you spend his money in, in for for entrepreneurship okay very good so uh, yes, they are more like, uh, do you remember that there was a question that we discussed before, right? Are entrepreneurs born or they? Uh, you can become an entrepreneur? So this is more like when you become an entrepreneur. They research, they get the education, and then they specialize. And once they are specialized, then they come with ideas because they know many things about. It's, this is like very common uh, for people that create applications, right? You are there studying engineering and coding, PHP, and many other things. And suddenly, you see a need somewhere. And then you say, oh, I'm going to create an application about that one. Sometimes it's successful and sometimes it's not. But that is like a very good example of this kind of things, uh, this kind of um, entrepreneurs. And, uh, well, that is very true. They are very analytical. That is so, so true. Uh, and since... Uh, well, it says that they uh, build their business through networking and referrals. I don't believe it's that much, uh, depending on the business, of course, and depending on the idea. But um, I don't, I don't agree in that part actually. Okay, and there are some other. Let me check what time is it. Now let's check something here. So speaking about specialist, innovator, opportunist, and a builder, which one do you believe is closer to you? Which one is more than in in if you were an entrepreneur, which one represents you the most? What do you think? Can you respond? Uh, definitely. The, the presentation, please. Yeah. yeah, this is the builder. There was the first one. Opportunist was the second one. Innovator and then specialist. From these four, which one do you believe represents you the most? I, I see in my case that uh, I maybe will be like the third one, the innovator. Okay. Why do you think that? Because I I I 
have a, a lot of idea. I give ideas to another people, but I I can put the ideas in action by myself, and, and I I can think and I can see a future for that idea, but uh, only that. <laughs> okay, very good, perfect. What about the rest of the people? What do you think? Could you call uh, back the opportunities, please? Okay, uh, why do you believe that? Well, uh, I guess uh, because I try to uh, get the um, advantage about the the rest of the competitors and try to observe the best idea. Okay, interesting. That is very good. Very nice. Thank you, Roxanne. Anybody else wants to share? Um, hi, Tisha. Hello. I think innovator is is necessary now, right? Um, because and um, in these days, uh, there are is you think that copy page copy page everything is is the same but if you will be innovator uh, you can be you can you can give a, a different solutions um problems uh, among that and sometimes it is necessary to give a, a different solution a different solution to in order to solve a, a specific problem or in, in order to be practice uh, to be to solve a quickly something very good perfect so yeah you are right maybe the innovator is one of the most important because they are here to try to solve problems right to try to uh, to check a need and then provide a solution to that one. So definitely that is something very, very important. Good. I have a question for you now that we're speaking about these kind of things. Uh, do you believe that everybody has an entrepreneur inside? I know that some people are more like, no, I, I, I don't want to run a business. It's too risky and things like that. But I believe that every, or do you believe that everybody has have ideas about solving problems? There are uh, a thinking and idea uh, that uh, everybody in the world some sometime in, in his life anybody or everybody have a idea that is worthy of uh, important and to make a, a entrepreneurship of the idea. But the difference is that the 95 or 98 percent doesn't do nothing on that idea. And only the 2 percent go away and try to do something with that idea. But the general thinking is that everybody has a good ideas, good idea. at least one successful idea in his brain, maybe when he was at the shower, or maybe when he was driving, or maybe when he was uh, doing something, but uh, everybody has good ideas. But uh, many of us don't uh, have self-confidence and uh, don't think that we can do it. Okay, yeah, very good, perfect, thank you. So, um, yeah, maybe that is the thing, right? Maybe we have, we all have ideas, but as you say, it's like, uh, okay, what can I do? I mean, maybe I'm not going to be successful on that one, maybe it's not going to work, the risk is too much. So the next question for you is, what is that that stop us to create that idea, to make that idea true? What do you think? The steps, 
So yeah, what what stop everybody to create that to to go and say I'm gonna do this? I'm gonna stop. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Self confidence is the first one. Is uh, in uh, there are something that uh, make us uh, maybe the social media or, or we see the people like Messi or Ronaldo and uh, we look at ourselves. And, uh, <laughs> I don't have nothing. The, this guy have everything. And I don't have nothing, and I, I, I can see in there that I can do something important. But uh, I, I think the first thing is a lack of self confidence. Yeah, that probably is one of the biggest. Right? Anybody else wants to share? The money teacher. <laughs> Maybe sometimes you have a great, great idea, but you don't have the money. And so you you have to start to think about how to get that money and knock the doors, uh, I don't know, uh, look for for maybe someone that want to invest their money in something cool, but you, you need to have a great and a very innovative idea that convince someone to, to give your, their money to you to invest. So I think that the money is very important to launch a, a, a business idea. Very good. So yeah, that is something that is very important, right? So maybe you have a very good idea, but for you to start, uh, I mean, to create a prototype or to, I mean, many things, uh, you need money, right? So to test it first and check if it's going to work. And I mean, and yeah, I mean, nobody wants to lose money, right? So it's a big problem. Good. Any other uh, opinion? Okay. The, the, ah, go ahead. the innovator is a person they are a perseverant because is they have they make a mistake but this is no uh, problem they are try again 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 finally yeah, you do they uh, I don't know they uh, get a a, a a result that is so true what you said Definitely, it's something very important. I mean, if you are going to run a business, you know that you need to to try one, two, three, six, ten, eleven, sometimes years, right? Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes, I mean, we believe, uh, why? Why am I going to do that one? I mean, it's better if I have a job and I just move on with my life, right? So, that would be, of course, uh, easier than investing all the time and all the effort and i mean yeah and the entrepreneurs i mean they really they try many times they that is one of the most important characteristics definitely they uh, really really persevere they try one two many times so that is very important good any other No, teacher. Um, to be honest, I think the same of you and Ileana. The money is the most important because you have to create a prototype. You need to make your own research. If that uh, product will have a, a good uh, release and also it will be acceptable for the, the other people. So, so you you need the money to create first of all uh, uh one um research about the materials and uh, other kind of uh information that maybe will be important to you at uh, the moment that uh, you are uh developed and um, so after that of the research of the materials so you need to have a good release for the product 
uh, to have the interest of the of the people of the consumers. Uh, so the money, I guess, that is the the first of all thing. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's one of the most important. I mean, without the money, maybe your idea is the best idea in the world. But you it's just a piece of paper with letters. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Yeah. And also another thing that really affects any entrepreneur is that they do not know where to start, right? There is not there is not a formula that you can say, ah, oh, first I'm going to do this and then this and then this. Yes, sometimes for you to check the idea and research about the idea, yeah, maybe you can research and do so many things. But then I have the idea, what do I do, right? Where do I go? Who can help me with this one? So we are alone, right? The government, the only thing that they do is to tell you, you need to pay taxes for that one. So that is it. But there is not like, uh, we are going to help you bring your idea and we're going to tell you what to do. So um, that is one of the biggest problems as well. So yeah, we have ideas and then we think it's going to be too complicated, right? It's going to be a lot of things, a lot of time, a lot of money. Yeah. Yes. And I guess that you have to invest a lot of time uh, knowing the business field. Yeah. So, yeah, that I guess that is the second uh, thing that you need to have, a, uh, like, like what, like point of view, or yeah, yeah, definitely, perfect. Okay, my friends, this is the end of the class. Nice. So it's time for you to go to bed and I'm going to check the attendance. The one one of today is for David Samuel. So let's see. Ana Claudia Gonzalez. Present Velasquez. teacher. Okay. <laughs> David Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye. Hello, David. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I am glad that you are with us this model because yeah. you have great ideas. You use the time. The other teacher let us in the breaking world for a lot of time, for a long time. We lost many times. Really? And I am glad because. We we learn new things and uh, useful things that that is important. Very good. I'm very happy that you are happy about the way that I teach. Yeah, you know sometimes uh, people they believe that this is just a job, but it's not like that. So it's yes. uh, I mean you need to invest some time in researching and thinking. I will. This level is different from the basic, right? On the basic, we do different activities. Maybe the breakout rooms are good there, but here 
sometimes, yeah, for a debate or for a, uh, something that you're going to do, well, maybe for five, ten minutes maximum. Other than that, not good. And um, I, I tried that one. I tried to make you think, make you understand things. I listen to your opinion. So that is uh, something that is very important. Because, well, you are a teacher and you know, you know that sometimes you need to motivate people. They need to be, I mean, after work to be in class and if the class is not good, I mean, it's, it's not good, right? So it's not a good investment of your time. Uh, but I'm very happy about that one. So, and um, I mean, I know that you are just a second here, but do you think that you're moving on with the class, that you're learning something? Yes, yes. In a... If you are uh, interested in something, you try to learn more. That is important. Yes. Very good. I'm very happy about that one. And uh, do you have any question about this or any topic that you have seen before? No, I am glad that I uh, only uh, always I need to. I think everybody wants to get better pronunciation. I think it's a, a word. Yeah, definitely. And the practice is going to be the key yes. for that one. Yeah, definitely. So that's why I open the microphone and you are free to speak sometimes. So that's good. Yes. Okay. And uh, well, is there any uh, anything that I can do for you? I mean, I feel white. Right. Yes. That's okay. Perfect, David. So remember that if you have questions, you can chat on the group or you can ask me in the class. Or you can chat with me directly, and of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. It was a pleasure to see you. It's nice to be here with you at the end of this journey that I know that has been long, but it's very good. I mean, I listen to you, and you are speaking very well, and that that makes me feel very happy. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Have a good night, then, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye.